Okay, today we'll see how to make the earliest explosive known as black powder or what we call gunpowder. The raw materials required uh, they are only three in number, but the mixture depends on what you want to use it for. But they are commonly used as explosive, the earliest form, and also propeller. But whichever one you're going to do, you need three things an oxidizing agent. Actually, this potassium trioxonitrate 5, otherwise called saltpeter, the common name is saltpeter. It acts as an oxidizing agent. Then we need the fuel that will be burning through the process, that's charcoal. We will grind it to increase the surface area. And finally, inside this bottle is sulfur. So the, these are the raw materials needed. Oh, sorry. So we need these three things. The percentage composition originally is 75% of the oxidizing agent, then 25% of these two. Some may use 15% charcoal and then 10% sulfur. Some may vary the composition, but all the same, we require this. I uh, will compare two things. I already know black powder as using potassium nitrate as the oxidizing agent. But today, I'll be trying what happens if I use another powerful oxidizing agent, potassium perchlorate. Because I believe the perchlorate is more oxidizing than the nitrate, so the powder will burn more vigorous. This is my own theory, but we'll find out today. Happy watching. So to grind the charcoal into fine powder to increase the surface area, as I'm doing. Remember, fine grinding means higher rates of reaction. Okay. We have gotten our fine powder. While mixing, we'll still grind further. So, for now, let's measure the masses. Okay, today I want to try out uh, 18.5 grams of the powder in total. So, I wouldn't like using 75% to 15% to 10% as usual. Uh, today, I want to try out different compositions altogether 65% to 21.6%. To 13.5%, that is, uh, I will have to use 64.8% uh, of the salt pita, then 21.6% of charcoal, and 13.6% uh, of uh, the sulfur. So, in this case, since I want to make the total mass of 18.5 grams of the powder, uh, if you do your calculations, this is the 4.8% of 18.5, uh, should be 12. So I'm going to measure sorry, 12 grams of this uh, particular oxidizing agent. Then I, in that case, I'll measure 4 grams of the charcoal. And finally, the uh, sulfur, I'll measure 2.5 grams of it. Let's see how it works. I uh, wouldn't like working with the old pattern. If it doesn't work well, we'll go to the original 75, 15, 10% combination. Let's get 12 grams of our salt bitter, 2.5 grams of sulfur, 4 grams of charcoal. So let's mix together. Black powder is ready. Come on, let's go and ignite.
that's um, the black powder, that's gunpowder. And we will now see what happens if we use a potassium perchlorate instead of potassium nitrate. The oxidizing agent here is potassium nitrate. You can see my mixture and my formulation is working well. That's a uh, 65 to 21 to 13.5%, no longer 75. It's okay, but we'll test the explosive nature of it. In our next video, stay subscribed. But let's check what happens if we heap more of it. Be careful, don't try this experiment at home. It's seriously dangerous. Immediately start burning, nothing stops it because of the powerful oxidizing agent present as potassium nitrate or what we call salt bitter. Where the potassium perchlorate is oxidized, so let's go straight and test to see the difference. This one is where potassium chlorate 
Potassium perchlorate is the oxidizing agent. subscribe there because we have more packages for you we just tested the difference between the oxidizing ability of potassium nitrate and the potassium chlorate then joining the two together what happens as we saw there is more uh, burns more vigorously so one will be propellant more than the other so next video will take us a little time to do but we'll now test the propelling ability of the other one and their explosion ability we have much thing for you that's we will see where they exploded now we will see the one that will give us the highest explosion among the black powder where the potassium chlorate is the oxidizing agent and the other one where the potassium nitrate is the oxidizing agent so stay subscribed you are going nowhere better than this channel we will entertain you and make you happy and also make you learn but don't try any of these things at home it's very dangerous god bless you thank you